Well guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Port Rush and welcome to the Northwest 200. You can hear them coming. <laughs> Forgot just how noisy those damn bikes are. Fabulous to see. And between races, obviously all the roads are closed between races. We managed to get down to do a bit of a supply shopping before heading back. We're staying with our friends Jill and Mervyn this weekend. It's hit or miss whether we're going to go back up again because they will close the roads in the next couple of minutes. So Nicola needs to get her pace on. And of course, by essential shopping, yeah. And I've got a bag full of pie and apple pie and profiteroles. Let's get back on this road before they close it. <laughs> well, I'm making a dash back up the road. Oh, will we make it in time? I think we're fine. We can. That's after an eight mile run this morning as well. Oh yeah, we did park run. Let's take it back a few hours. Right guys, time for a little bit of Port Rush park run. So just waiting on Nicola to come in now. Well, perfect conditions for Port Rush park run. Flat, flat sand low wind, low tide. On a day like today, Port Rush Park Run is one of the best in the world. It can, however, be absolutely horrific. <laughs> she loves Park Run, really. Getting her exercise in, but I'm sure we'll replenish those. Barbecue at our friend's house, so yeah. I'm really pleased to see that the Northwest got the good weather for it as well. One other benefit we have of coming to visit friends here in Port Rush is we get our little bit of dog fix. This is Benny, meet Benny. Hello Benny. What then? Last race of the day. <laughs> the noise just rips oh, right for you. Amazing. It's fantastic, yes. really good. Well, good morning, guys. Monday morning, and we have left Port Rush behind and the motorbikes and our friends. Speaking of leaving things behind, we've also left our home behind. One of the reasons for coming back to Ireland was to get our little dunts and dents fixed, and we have just dropped the van off the garage. Quite worrying that we're dropping off at an accident and repair center. Nicola I just, just saw a, a driver drive into another car. And he was leaving his car off to get fixed. So now I think he needs to get it doubly fixed. And I'm not going to say this too loudly because I don't want to freak this one out. We are properly homeless now. <laughs> so over the next couple of days, we're going to be being put up by friends and obviously staying with mom and dad for a couple of days as well. So anyone got a bed? Carrying my room, my room, my home rail with me, and it's quite heavy. Mm, no, not even going to give you any sympathy for that. I was watching you pack for these couple of days, going, why? I've had to pack for a week. That's not much for a week. No, you haven't, because we left close up mum and dad's. No, I didn't. Let's not get into this. No, I didn't. Yeah, we had to cut that little segment short because we were arguing over <laughs> who told who to bring bring all the clothes. I'm still saying that she made that decision herself. Anyway, so it's about a 15 minute walk down into Belfast. Um, we're gonna hang out here for a couple of hours and then over to our friend's house in Donoghadee later. But thankful that we have the opportunity to stay at other people's houses while we have this done. But I kind of wish we could have been able to get the van into his sort of backyard because seeing old duffers run into cars at the accident repair center does not do my stress levels any good. Good start there Monday morning. Back up to Belfast. I'm gonna need some coffee now. Oh, and you're also walking about with half a bottle of wine in your <laughs> bag as well, so... Well, you can't beat and join them. Yeah. Somebody getting tired carrying her home on her back? <laughs> I need food. Well, 
well, lost Nicola to the lure of shopping, so I've just been wandering around some of the sites of Belfast in the sun. Our bus is in about 20 minutes, so I'm gonna wander over there now, but Belfast, beautiful city. Obviously has had its fair share of problems, but beautiful city, but also now, unfortunately, a very expensive city. That's the, the price of having all the tourists come in. This is the River Lagan, made famous, I guess, by um, Up the Lagan in a Bubble. See if you can name that TV drama. Hidden float up the Lagan on a bubble. Well guys, it's been a couple of days, but we're back in Belfast and fingers crossed in a couple of hours time, we're off to collect our hopefully fixed van. Spoke to the guy yesterday and he said it was 99.9% .9 ready. Not quite sure what the last <laughs> point of a percent. And she needs to pee and she needs to eat. You can take the girl out of the <laughs> van, <laughs> but you can't take the need to eat and pee. There you go. First up, I think we're going to go and check out Belfast Market. Let's go and do that. I'm so hungry. Well, somebody's getting fed, so the hangry moment may have passed. She'll be right back at you. Mm -hmm. You almost finished already. I know, I was so hungry. I better get stuck into my half before she got eyes on that as well. Mm. So guys, we stand outside the Belfast City Hall and normally you can get inside and look around. It's a very impressive building with loads of history about Belfast and the surrounding area. But I think because it's the voting, local voting elections at the moment, all the TV cameras and everything are set up over there, so you can't get in unfortunately. But yeah, if you're ever in Belfast, uh, normally you can get inside and very impressive. I, mean, I only realised you could get inside when I come back here as a, as a visitor, what, well, only about sort of six years ago or so, but yeah, Belfast City Hall, worth a little detour if you're ever in Belfast. Well guys, came across this fantastic working space. It actually used to be Tesco's, I, I believe, a couple of years ago, but now it's kind of a community workspace with lots of kind of art exhibitions and a cafe and various things. So I've just been chilling out and working in there. I love it when cities put areas like this up. And for us who travel all the time, somewhere like this, I reckon would be somewhere that we would frequent quite a lot, but anyway, best go meet Nicola. I think she's finished shopping. She's probably hungry again then. Right, well now the nerves are building. We're wandering back up to collect the van. And you know, obviously he said yesterday 99.9% .9 ready, but you just never know. His idea of 0.1% and our <laughs> idea of 0.1% could be miles apart, but it's about a 20 minute walk up, fingers crossed. Well, fingers crossed, first of all, that the van doesn't get run into again while it's parked there. But I yeah, just want to get up, pay the money. Ooh, well, I don't really want to pay the money. And then hopefully everything's okay. Ooh, nervous. I'm always nervous because I'm very OCD. So if o things are 100%, I get a bit twitchy. OCDE? What's yeah. that? OCD-ish. And then... I had to deal with that, so I'm not happy either. So positive vibes, positive vibes. Well, good morning, guys. And it has been a, ooh, out of the depths of the van. It's been a few days. In fact, it's been probably about a week since we last recorded. We had a big party for dad. We saw family. We've been back up in Portrush. We had the handbrake checked out, no issues there. And we are now back at our storage unit where we're just gonna dump a few bits and pieces that, that weren't used. Uh, before we jump back on the ferry and actually head over to England. Someone's a little bit morose. Morose, is that the right term? Yes. Uh, because obviously leaving Portrush again. It was a really good time being here. It was really good. Uh, yeah. And of course, what also sort of um, didn't help in terms of her not wanting to leave was it's actually really nice weather <laughs> as well. So, but yeah, we're gonna throw some stuff into the storage unit and then we need to go and jump on a ferry. So we'll probably catch up down at the ferry. Oh, I really do want to open the storage unit. Hope everything's still there. What's it like? Still there. Always a bonus when it's still there. Our lives in a box. I guess I, guess I can't get in there, can I? Oh, what are you looking to get in? We're, we're putting stuff in, we're not taking stuff out. <laughs> that wasn't part of the deal. Just shut this door and that'd be... Mm -hmm. Solo 
I knew this was going to be an issue. The, the plan was to put stuff into the storage unit. Now Nicholas going, hmm. Remember we did we did Jenga to put everything in there, so. No chance to get into any other clothes, is there? Nope. I on purpose packed all of the clothes at the very back of the storage unit so there was no way to get in there. We don't need to take a rucksack over do we for anything? Well guys, that is us just entering Loch Ryan as we approach Carn Ryan Port in Scotland. We're about 20 minutes away from docking, leaving Ireland behind. Always very sad to say goodbye to mum and dad and say goodbye to friends and family. The plan now is we are gonna stop over in Scotland for, for the night before making the five, six hour journey down to Cambridge. Um, we'll obviously catch up over the next couple of days in Cambridge, we're going to be in Cambridge for the next week and a half or so um, before starting the next leg of our big full-time van adventures. Now I'm going to head down below deck because it's blooming freezing up here but I guess it's just acclimatizing me for the next stage of our travels. We're looking at some of the temperatures we're going to be faced with. Ooh, we're certainly not in Spain and Portugal now. Well, good morning again, guys, and yes, welcome to Cambridge. Been in Cambridge for about a week. Last weekend, we went to the Cambridge Beer Festival. I'll show you some of that footage now. Well, guys, yes, we're at the Cambridge Beer Festival. And um, it's someone- very sour, this one. It's disgusting, it smells- <laughs> Cherry and plum. Here. No, this one smells better. Uh, doesn't she look rather hot with a new hairstyle? Well, this is the only time it'll ever look like this. <laughs> it's there. This is, this is Nicola's brother, by the way. Her first time appearing on YouTube. Video. Yeah. Go get the video. This is this is Rachel, by the way. Yes. These are the best donuts I've ever had. You heard it here first. Best donuts he's ever had. Good times. I just realized looking back at the footage of this vlog that we didn't give you an update on the van after we went to pick it up from the um, dense guy. Well, suffice to say that those guys are some kind of magicians. I was convinced they had just put new doors on, um, but obviously the stickers and things are still there. Unbelievable workmanship, really, really fantastic guys. And so pleased to have the, the van back. The only issue is we think that the timing belt is perhaps on the way out a little bit so it's actually booked to go in again to the garage on Wednesday we then pick it up on Thursday and we head off on Friday more expenses oh I guess it is something that needs to get done though and especially getting it done before we embark on this next stage of our travels a little bit more overcast this morning. We have had very overcast conditions here in East Anglia when the rest of the country has been bathed in glorious sunlight. I think the next couple of days are supposed to be sort of a bit, a bit better. Nicola will be joining us in a little while. She's gone out for a run. Unfortunately, last weekend I gave myself a bit of a calf strain, so no running for me for a while. Um, but we're staying at Nicola's mum's house. We have been here for the last week, as I said, and we're here for another couple of days before we head off on the, the second stage of our big full-time travel malarkey but I'll wait till Nicola comes back to we sort of talk a little bit more about that. We, we sometimes forget how beautiful Cambridge actually is especially when the sun is shining as you can see here.
rather beautiful indeed, eh? Well, Nicola's about 20 minutes out, so I'll wait till she gets back. She'll jump on board, and then we'll spend a few minutes talking about our future plans. I probably should have done this little outro just by myself. Nicola's causing chaos. Not like me. Uh, she wanted a pair of wireless headphones, so she went and bought a pair of wireless Beat Flex, and she's been out for a run with them. They really, really rub your neck as you're running. The lead, and if you put the lead down, it pulls them out your ears, so they're literally useless. So now, instead of me going into the library and having a day of working, I gotta go and return perfectly good headphones to John Lewis and try to argue the point. So anyway, you guys don't wanna hear that. We, we were supposed to be leaving for our big trip today, but someone is going to see Pink in concert in Bolton. Yay, never been to Bolton. Of all places. <laughs> um, maybe she'll put, we'll put some footage up of that in next week's vlog. But yeah, so we're off to Bolton on Wednesday, concert Wednesday night. I'm not going, I'm just gonna wander around Manchester. And then back here on Thursday. Crazy couple of hours packing up the van yes, because the van. Yeah, I said. Oh, it's yeah, going in the garage. Going in yes. the garage, yeah. So we're gonna have a few hours to pack up the van. And then. Then there's a crazy dog. <laughs> Oh, oh. Uh, fluffy one. Looks like a big foo foo dog doesn't like little foo foo dog. <laughs> There's always noise. <laughs> Two minutes. Dog's still going. Goodness gracious me. Not even the birds are starting to chirp as well. <laughs> I'll let you guys away with it. And then we're off to Norway. On a very, well, it's a very early start to get to the port for us. Yeah, so next week's vlog, probably be an intro of Nicola looking. Gormless. <laughs> I didn't say it, she did. Yes, our rough plan is we're going to spend several months up through Norway, a little bit into Sweden, down through Finland, and um, maybe over into the Baltics as well for a little bit. The plan being it's now middle of June and maybe sort of being in and around that area until sort of end of September. So a um, bit of a extended trip, never been, I've been to Oslo once for like an overnight business trip, but looking forward to it. I haven't been to any of the countries, so I'm quite excited. And mm. we'll be there over my birthday, so I'm hoping we might do something nice on my birthday. <laughs> Won't be able to afford you to anything nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other thing as well is, and actually, I, I think we kind of alluded to it a couple of times, we I think partied a little bit too much whenever we've been in sort of Spain and Portugal. Let's say our budget was doubled. Yeah. Yeah, not, not a good thing. So we're actually looking forward to getting out into the wilds of Norway where you can't afford to go out. So um, that'll be interesting to see just what the costs are all about. So You think I was grumpy before? I know. Wait until I get there. Uh, this one here without any food, it's going to be any treats, it's going to be fun. And I think this weather is kind of getting us ready for that Norwegian section. Actually, to be fair, it looks like the sort of southern half of Norway should be reasonably okay, but the further north we go, I think things are going to get quite interesting. So not only will I be hungry, I'll also be cold. Two of my non-favourite things. And about four weeks in, your wired headphones will break as well. And you won't have any wireless ones. And then my life will be complete. <laughs> it's getting ready to be tech chiefer back in the van. <laughs> right, guys. Well, once again, thanks a lot for following along. And hope you've enjoyed this little kind of sortie through Ireland and, and England. Um, always quite sad to leave family and friends yeah, behind. Very but, sad. But I think when, once we get up into the, the Nordics, um, I think we'll forget all about them. <laughs> no, we don't mean that. <laughs> I don't know, Nicola and her one-liners. How many coffees have you had today? <laughs> right, guys. Well, once again, thanks a lot for following along. And actually, hang on a minute. Can you say goodbye in Norwegian? Oh, I haven't learned that yet on Duolingo. Can you say hello in Norwegian? Oi. I just made that up. <laughs> See you next week when we'll be boarding a ferry to Holland. I'm boring you. <laughs> God, See you later, guys.